What's up guys, Scraggy Pants here, another Pokemon video for you. Bringing you GPS Season 9, Week 8, maybe it's Week 8, not Week 9. Uh, Chicago Scrafties, started off the season strong and now we're on a bit of a slope. But this week we're up against the undefeated Denver Ninetales, which is going to be a, another tough battle. Um, this is actually our first time playing, I don't think I've ever played Denver. So, should be exciting. We don't know each other's play styles, but they have a very threatening team. You know, as, you know, they're undefeated, so. They got the kill leader, I believe, which is Dragapult. So I'm assuming they're going to bring that. And then they're, I think they got a Rotom Heat as well, and a Tinkaton. It's got a lot of kills. But we're going to enter the code here and uh, get into the battle. I got some special guests hanging out with me today. We got Aaron, Ashley, and Mac. So if you guys hear them in the back, they might be cheering us on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, go team. Yeah, yeah. Woo. Yeah, yeah. The other person's representing Denver, man. I don't know. I might be, might have to be a traitor here. What? <laughs> All right, well, you can go watch their battle then, you know? <laughs> James, the look he gave me was betrayal. <laughs> was, was, yeah, betrayal. That was a look up. You were shook. All right, an opponent has been found. I only have 52 minutes of footage left on my phone, so we got. Uh, hopefully, it doesn't go to too many, too long. How long can it take? Can you hook up your charger? I don't know, three 20 minute belt. No, like I have space left on my phone to record. Oh. Alright, we're going Western theme. Western theme, best theme in the game, hands down. And then the team we're rocking with this week is Chiyu, Gudra, Ursaring, Fortress, Sableye, and the newly acquired Cryogonal. Could not decide who to give leftovers to this week. I wanted to give it to four of them, but uh, then only one item per team thing. Came up with some other choices. So we are definitely bulky this week. Let's see, yep, those are basically the six I prepped for. I was thinking maybe Oracorio or Muck instead of the Doug Trio. So I should have run Toxic Spikes, but uh, we'll take that. So we got Dragapult. Now, uh, what do you guys think of that team? Looks like a threatening team. Uh, maybe. It's an undefeated team. I mean, it looks that, aggressive. Yeah, I, mean, it's <laughs> I mean, Rodham Heat. Rodham Heat's great. Dragapult, you're saying, is the kill leader of the entire thing. Uh, I mean, Tinkerton. Pretty Tinkerton. Cool <laughs> Don't sleep on Flamigo. Flamigo is good. Flamigo, I had it in another yeah. league. The things it's got scrappy, so it can hit ghost. So we gotta watch out for that. It's a uh, really fast speed. It's got um, brave bird, close combat, a lot of good stuff. So I think I'm gonna start off with. I want to start fortress, but I'm scared of that Rotom. So I think I think we're good with fortress. And then we'll go Ursaring, Gudra, the others. Others don't really matter. What happens? If, uh, what happens if they lead with uh, Rotom Heat, though? We switch into Gudra <laughs> immediately. <laughs> All right. Good luck, Denver. Starting off with Dragapult right away. All right. All right. Uh, I am sturdy, so that's good. It might have a fire type move here, I'm not sure. I'm gonna Thunder Wave just in case, because if we can paralyze it. Okay, yep. Alright, that's fine. We are sturdy. We can get this Thunder Wave off. Oh, I guess I'm right. Oh. <laughs> Dog Trio watch. Okay, that works. That actually works. Probably still gonna outspeed me here. Um, do I want to save Fortress? Uh, 
Oh, it's fair. Are you special or physically bulky? You are especially bulky. Uh, I think we got to sack Fortress here. Maybe get up the rocks if we can. Yeah, I know he's going to U-turn. That's fine, so we'll get to switch into whatever we want. Going back into Dragapult. So we can see that Dragapult is special. So I think we can Cryogonal here. I am very specially defensive. Because I uh, can't really Gudra. Unless I Terra Iced. Um, and I think Cryogonal is our best bet here. First time on the playing field. Let's see what he can do. Probably gonna switch here, maybe, or use flamethrower. Let's see. Let's go for the freeze dry. Maybe we'll get a switch in on the quagsire. Oh, it's terror evolving. All right, this is uh, steel. Fairy. Okay. Mm. He's a fairy type, and he's going to use dragon darts. Oof, that did a lot. Oh my goodness, okay. Yeah. Alright, from here, we got to go... I don't know what we gotta go. We gotta go Gudra here. in a bad spot here. I think we need to Terror Evolve. And then Acid Armor. I mean, we know he's got Flamethrower. But uh, we're already in a tough spot. Alright, he's withdrawing. We'll take that. He's going to go into Tinkaton. Alright, so we're still going to be weak to uh, Gigaton Hammer. But at least we're going to get the... Uh, the acid armor up, so that might help. Alright, so let's see here. I know there's going to be a, uh, a gigaton hammer coming at me. I don't know if that's going to kill, though. It might kill me. I have negative defense boosting nature. Um, I don't really have a switch in. So I gotta hope the acid armor is enough and then fire blast. But I'm probably just gonna die here. Oh no, we did survive. Alright. Nice. And he's got the berry for fire blast. Nice. Predicted. Nothing. Mm. That was expert belt too. Alright, well. Yeah, we're done here, I think. Um, and Gudra's slow. I think we just gotta sack Gudra. Wait for the knockoff. Oh, we did survive. Survived with 8 HP. Knocked off the Expert Belt, though. But now we get another Fire Blast off. And still not enough. There. Now we die. Oh, he's switching out. Okay. Into Dragapult again. Rotom. Alright, we're going into Rotom Heat. 
And then he's probably going to vault switch out for the kill, I'm assuming. So let's get this Terra Boost at Ice Beam. Not very effective, but maybe we'll get a Lucky Freeze. Nope. Uh, that like what cool. is that thing? Some Rotom. Rotom Heat. Some Rotom inside of an oven. Alright, so here's probably going to be a Vault Switch. Um, I mean, I'm just waiting for Gudra to die, really, here. Unless I want to switch it back in sometime else. And I guess we can go Sableye here. Alright, so now they get to switch into whatever they want here. <coughs> Let's see, what's it going to be? Flamigo, alright. Uh, so this is going to have Scrappy, so it's going to ignore ghost typing, which means that close combat is going to be super effective on Sableye. It's going to treat him as a pure dark type. Um, I have everything I have left is weak to fighting, mm -hmm. so I think we just got to go for the reflect here. Okay. All right, so we got that. Okay. That's good. All we can really do here is Nightshade. Uh, he's going for the U-turn. It's going to bring out. I don't think we killed anything yet. No, we haven't. Six to four. Alright, going back into Tinkaton, and Tinkaton is going to die here. So we're going to get one KO. I think that's Sableye's first KO of the season. He's just been a support all season. Nice job, Sableye. Ooh. One yeah. KO. Ooh. <laughs> Love Sableye. I'm in four leagues, and I have Sableye on all four of my teams. Alright, so now we're going back into Dragapult. So I do still have the Reflect up, but he's probably got Terra Blast, um, which would kill me. Neutral on that. Sack Gudra here. Yeah. But let's see, how much do I need Sableye for? I guess I could burn the Dog Trio. This thing's mixed. We know it has Flamethrower, but it also has Dragon Darts. I'm assuming it's got Terra Blast, which is. I don't know if it's, it's physical or special is higher, so maybe it's worth it to Will O Wisp. Well, it's probably going to be a Terra Blast Fairy here, I'm assuming. Dragon Darts, okay. Alright, nice. That Will O Wisp totally saved us. And he's Life Orb, good to know. Alright, so he's not going to kill us with a physical attack. And he's because he's burnt. So between Burn and Life Orb, and we got Reflect up. I mean, he's got to go for a special attack now. Let's recover. He must not have Terra Blast then. Kind of cheap, but uh, let's keep doing it. It's not broken. Why fix it? <laughs> yeah. Well, he is broken, and he's trying to fix it. Well. <laughs> okay, he's going for Dragon Dance, so he is physical. Despite being burnt, he's going to try to uh, power through here. Alright, Reflect's gone, so we need to get another Reflect up. I still think with one Dragon Dance I should be able to live. 
between Reflect, hopefully. Uh, we'll see. All right, maybe not two, though. Oh, that great leaper is... Attack and does speed. It, does it mm -hmm. hit his stacks? Yeah, oh, so wow. now Damn. he's going to do more damage, and he's really fast. He's got plus two attack, plus two speed. Oh, and it can go up to... Up to six, yeah. Wow. But I got that special ability Prankster, which makes my status moves go first. So if I have to click any of these three moves, I'm automatically going first. Wow. Cool. But he'll go first now. Oh, he did have Terra Blast this whole time. Oh. All right, we're dead. Oh, he was charging up to make sure that that would one hit you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I see. Terra Blast is physical? It, whatever status higher, physical or special. Hmm. Whatever type you are, and if you're not Terra Evolved, then it's just a base 80 spe uh, special normal move. Alright, so now we get swept. Um, yeah. Probably some of the fish. Right? The fish is gonna die. He's, the fish has bad uh, special, or uh, bad regular defense. Yeah, he outspeeds with the start. He's plus two Dragon Dance, I don't outspeed. I think my best bet of living anything would be, uh, through my boy Ursa Ring here. And we'll just, we'll just double edge. Alright, we are living. Unless this one crits. Nice. Definitely losing the battle still, but we are getting a couple KOs. Back in the road, I'm here. Uh, this could will o wisp me, it could um, vault switch. There's a lot of things this Rotom could do. He doesn't really have a good anything that resists double edge. Both his double edge resists are dead. So I think I'm just gonna do it again. I don't I don't think I would survive enough to bulk up. Alright, I might just die to this overheat to be honest. Eight Ooh. HP, let's go. Ring. All right, but I'm gonna die to recoil from double edge. All right, he switched out with the eject pack. Um, Doug Trio maybe flamingo. I mean, you probably still hit for pretty big damage. Quagsire is the only thing I wouldn't hit that much. Oh, Quagsire. He shall appear. <laughs> that thing looks like the devil. Okay, I'll still take that. Hi, Ursaring. That's pretty good. No. Yeah. All right. What can you hit that with? Gudra is probably too slow, so I gotta bring this in. So his ability lowers their special defense by one stage. But I am scarfed into whatever I choose first is the only move I can use. So what I want to use in the long run, probably Dark Pulse. Yeah, I mean, I think it's Dark Pulse, because Flamethrowers, the Rotom's still got pretty good HP. And, yeah, Flamethrower wouldn't kill this. Overheat's going to lower my, my spit F in the long run, so I think I just got to start spamming Dark Pulse here. He does have Unaware. I don't know if that would affect this. We'll see. Nope, it does oh. not. Okay. I don't know. Maybe it did, but still knocked it out. Trio. This might still outspeed me. I'm not sure. Dog Trio is pretty fast. Uh, I'm definitely dead to an earthquake. <coughs> um, he's not that not that bulky though, so Dark Pulse might kill, but he might be sashed as well. We gotta find out. All right, he just outspeeds. Uh. Might maybe he's scarfed. Oh, 
Because I was scarfed too, so he had to have been scarfed, I think. Is a slow Gudra. Alright, Gudra, we need a miracle here. You can do it, Gudra. Gudra, how you feel about a, a Rotom Heat, a, a Flamingo, and a Dug Trio? I think we gotta hit him with the Ice Beam. Miss! <laughs> Miss! <laughs> Survive. <laughs> Friendship boost. No. no. Oh All right. <laughs> is it best of three? Yeah, it is. Oh, okay. Cool. But like my past three weeks, I've lost 2-0, 2-0, 2-0. Been on a spiral downwards. But good game there. That was 3-0. Better than I thought it would be. Doug hey, you had some moments. I had some moments. He had some moments. But now, uh, you know my strategies. And now I'll probably lose game two pretty badly, but we'll see. Battle again with the same rules. Same teams. But now we do know their move sets a little bit. If you remember, I don't remember at all, but I remember some of them. Let's get some different music going. Let's get some... I don't know. I like Nimona too, that's a good one. Alright, so this game, I think we can lead off with... I don't know. Um, I think Ursaring or Gudra. Because they're both got, they both got different things they can do. I think Ursa Ring, and just hope she doesn't lead. She might lead Flamingo again though because of U-turn. So I think we'll go Gudra. That yeah, we'll one the rest don't really matter. I don't know why they decided to make my uh, Chiyu Terra Electric this week. Looking at her team, I'm like, why did I make it Terra Electric? It doesn't really hit anything. Should have stuck with Terra Fairy. Not sure. The flamingo. I guess, yeah. Alright. So we're starting off with the Dragapult right away. Um, they knew I was Terra Ice game, t game 1. But I'm not going to Terra Evolve right away here. So I'm just going to die to a Dragon Darts, or he's going to start setting up on me with Dragon Dance. So instead, I'm going to switch in to Sableye, because I kind of walled it last time. and no burn up like last time. I could Terra Evolve into a Fairy type here and be immune to it. I don't know if that's the play. How much do I want to burn this Dragapult? I think I want to burn the Dragapult. Well, do I have, a, do I have anything? If I Terra Fairy here and he just and they go for like flamethrower or something, then it's all over. It's not all over, but that's a bad play and I wasted my Terra. But I think it's worth it. I'm gonna be desperate. I'm going to try it and hopefully get the burn. Okay. Well we wasted a Terra, possibly. Yep, we really wasted a Terra. Just can't burn a Rotom. I read that really badly. Uh, 
Alright, now we die. Um, I mean, I could, but if he overheats, I die. But I'm assuming a vault switch. So I'm just, he's probably expecting me to switch, and then they could vault switch into whatever they want to have an advantage. So I'm gonna recover and hope I survive. We'll see. Yep, okay, cool. I should survive that. Nice. Let's stabilize max defense, max special defense, 4 HP. Alright, so we are going back into Dragapult. Uh, we lose Sableye here, I think, unless we recover. Um, I think we gotta recover again, and then go for the Willow next turn. Okay, just, uh, just playing around. <laughs> just walking. Is it gonna be a giant Will-O-Wisp again? Alright, there's going to be an overheat coming eventually, though. I'm plus defense. No, I am plus special defense. Okay. Um, Sableye, Sableye seems to be a problem, though, because she keeps trying to switch around on it. So Sableye definitely seems to be a problem for her team. So I want to preserve it, if possible. I, res I resist Vault Switch. I resist Overheat. Gudra. That's fine. There's going to be Dragapult, I'm assuming. I'm going to pop an Acid Armor here as long as I don't get paralyzed. Tinkaton, okay. So I think last time we lived a, a Gigaton Hammer, which I'm assuming he's also carrying Play Rough. Which is going to do less damage than Gigaton Hammer. Gigaton Hammer is like base 160, I think. Or something crazy like that. Play rough base 90. So probably going to play rough here. Um, I'm going to go Fortress. Get him to switch out with the red card. So we did just boost up Gudra for nothing, but... Yeah, here's that play rough I was expecting. That's fine, I'm not gonna be attacking you. Alright, well, that sucks. I get cooked right here. Um, yeah. Back into Gudra. Nobody's died yet, it's still six to six, game two. <laughs> You're both incredibly strategic and <laughs> So I wanted to get stealth rocks up, but uh, I guess I could have done that game at that turn if they were going for vault switch. All right, but now I die to a dragon darts because I don't have the acid armor up. So now I gotta switch. 
But then he could predict the switch and go flamethrower. <laughs> Just keep playing this game. <laughs> I got 20 minutes left on my recording, so. But I know this game will be up on uh, the channel anyway because this is a. Uh, all of uh, Denver's games are uploaded on the channel and covered by Boston. So if this does go to game three, you probably might not get it on, on footage, but uh, I'll try. Alright, so he did just drag and dance on my face. Um, I got a willow here. Go back into Rotom. Alright, and then here comes the Thunder Wave. Now here's going to come the vault switch. Oh no, it's an eject pack. Okay. Back into Dragapult. And I'm going to switch back into Sableye. Eventually, it's just going to be predicted. I'm assuming going to go for, and you could Terra Evolve here and Terra Blast and kill me, and then yeah, I'm downhill. Oh wait, no, I'm not Dark type. I'm Fairy type, so it wouldn't kill. Yeah, so I don't think this Dragapult can kill Sableye in one hit, and it's scared of it because it doesn't want to get Will O' Wisp. Yeah, that Will O' Wisp really worked last time. And then you just sat there and ignored it. So maybe Terror Evolving Sableye was worth it in the long run. Yep. It's still gonna hit me pretty hard, I think, but let's see. pretty hard. Alright, um... I mean, I can recover it, but eventually I'm gonna die, because I did over half. Reflect, I'm gonna die. Will-O-Wisp, I think I'm still gonna die. Yep, okay. They do not want to get burned. <laughs> Rotom. Here comes Rotom. Yep, okay, cool. So good thing we recovered. <laughs> it's still six six, right? Yep. We got eight minutes left. And we've been going pretty quick. It's not like we're stalling or anything. We just keep making good switches. And we know you can't touch me, so. You can overheat, you can vault switch, you can willow wave or thunder wave. I mean, eventually, you know, Gudra's gonna die to a vault switch or something. Do you think the switch will be predicted though and try Dragon Dance? It can Dragon Dance on me if it wants. I'll Will O Wisp it. I'm on full HP if it wants because I won't need to recover then. Yeah. Or I could put a Reflect up. Yeah, no, that. 
that's hurting me. I might be dead to another one of those. It's going to be predicting the recover here. I think. And that did a lot of damage, so I'm thinking if I they're going to predict the recover and think they can kill me with a Terra Blast, do I Will-O-Wisp? Or am yeah. I going to look stupid because they're just going to switch into Rotom? Try. Okay, good. Okay. Alright. But I think I'm dying. I'm still dead here. But I think oh, that was definitely. worth it. That was worth it, I believe. Because now it's going to probably be a special attack because its attack is half. Yep, but I, I still think that was worth it. Imagine if that will o wisp missed. Okay. Pretty sure I'd outspeed, but I don't want to. Yeah, I mean, there's no dragon dance on it, right? Yeah, you're right. Um, I was gonna say Ursaring, but nah, fish. All the Dark Pulse doesn't have it good anymore. But I mean, I think you can get some good games on it. It's gonna switch out. So I'm going to overheat. Um, I mean, we're still gonna, I mean, over. I'm overheat with the ability, that's still gonna do decent damage to whatever comes in. Or just do that. Doug Trio, we were in this situation before. Doug Trio outspeeds, and we'll go for Earthquake. Uh, I'm gonna go Cryogonal here, but Cryogonal's got crap ass defense, and this Doug Trio's probably got Rock Slide. So maybe Fortress. Um, yeah, I think we go. Fortress. Yeah. I don't know. I'm thinking there's going to be a rock slide. We know it's scarfed. So if it's scarfed and it goes for Earthquake, we can switch in. Yeah, we can switch into Cryogonal next turn. Because Cryogonal's got Levitate. So we know he's scarfed, so we get a free switch. Alright, so do they. Alright, now we got Cryogonal. Um, I mean, I am extremely special defensive. That's my best stat by far. But I don't know how I feel, how I feel about an overheat, and I don't know what I would do here. I have no attacks that do anything. So I think we just gotta switch into our Rotom counter. Gudra. The timer's starting to count down, too. Yep. And we are losing, so... I think, right? Yeah. No, it's 5-5. Five to five. But, uh... I don't know how it'll figure it out. Well, we might message each other, but... It, normally, if it ends, like, 5-4, to four and they have 5, I have 4, they would be the winner. Alright, we're gonna go for an Acid Spray here. It's gonna Vault Switch. Alright, that's interesting. That's good, I guess. Hopefully not Tinkaton though, because Tinkaton, yeah, it probably is going to be Tinkaton, because Tinkaton's immune to the acid spray. Yep. Should have acid armored. 
All right, so now we got to switch out here into Fortress. Fortress resist to play rough. Gigaton hammers neutral, I think. I don't, I don't remember if steel resists steel. But we're dead in two hits. But we just get a clean swap in into a little fishy. That'll be fine. All right, play rough. We live that easily. But I think I died to a gigaton hammer. Um, rocks. Rocks, vault switch, arrow ball, thunder wave, thunder wave here. Yeah. Alright, cool. I was expecting the hammer there, but we'll take that and we'll go for the thunder wave. And then, I'm gonna vault switch to get into my Chiyu. Wait to set up rocks. Yeah, I mean, you have like long term rocks, I think. I mean, we're not stalling, we're just making good switches, good calls. Alright, we're gonna go back into fish here and we're just gonna overheat. Right? I mean, what's he gonna switch? Um, Rotom. Dredge. I don't want a dark pulse on this thing, so I think I got to overheat. I mean, I want to see it rode him. I want to see how much it would do to rode him. I'm curious, because, you know, it's resisted. Yeah, not much. So yeah, it looks like that's going to be the end of the battle right there. You guys can see the timer counting down. Um, I think by the time they send it out with the animations and everything, I'm not going to be able to choose a move. I mean, yeah, what would I do here anyway? I would just be switching into Fortress. But uh, the game's over. Yeah. So we'll see what it says. It was five to five. It says I lost. Uh, I'll message. We'll message the opponent real quick. See what happens there. They won game one, so it might just be a loss there. But we'll see. Yeah, I mean that'd be pretty fair, I right think. Yeah, I mean that was a really good match. That was a good match right yeah. there. Yeah. And plus, I'm I mean, running out of recording anyway. So. It just sucks that they like really cut the timer out of this game. Yeah. Well, we'll uh, we'll. Message the opponent, and uh, if you don't see another battle, we lost. If you do, we're going to game three. If not, thanks for watching. Bye. What's up, guys? Scraggy Pants here, post battle. Uh, I just wanted to share my thoughts on a couple things from that battle. Uh, I had a bunch of fun. That was a great battle uh, between Denver and I, as you guys saw. Yeah, we did get the loss, but hey, I had a lot of fun. As you saw, I had my friends there. And uh, it, was, it was a great time. I actually had a lot of fun during that battle. Just a couple things that were said after the battle. Was, I, I don't even know if people watch this far in the video, if anyone's going to see this. But a couple things after the battle that kind of rubbed me the wrong way. Uh, just not, not going to drop any names. Just conversations I had with uh, some other people from the match. And like afterwards, I, I honestly think I had a chance game two if we had more time. You know, screw timer. I think most people can agree with me on that. Screw timer. Like, even if we had five, ten more minutes, maybe something would have happened. Um, yeah, I was I was kind of accused of being stally, which if you look at it, yeah, I guess I kind of was. But at the same time, I'm not going to stand with something I'm weak to and get killed, so... The way I look at it is we were both making really good predictions and uh, doing really good switches the entire match. And uh, that's why it ended 5-5. Five to five. Um, As time expired, I was going to feint to Flamigo. I think it was using close combat on my fortress. And that would have KO'd because it was banded. But then I had a clean swap into uh, Chiyu. 
So I still had my Chiyu there. Uh, my only death was Sableye, and the opponent's only death was Dragapult, both of them being Terrorastalized. So, like, honestly, I don't know. I mean, we needed more time to decide it. It could have been anybody's game still, but I felt pretty confident, and I felt that, uh, you know, there was still a chance. And, you know, I was told that, you know, I wouldn't, I didn't have a chance at all, and I think the comment that really, you know, rubbed me the wrong way was that, you know, I'd have to, a combination of my opponent being dumb and me getting very lucky, and if that would have happened, I would have managed to maybe knock out two more Pokemon. And then, like, uh, said, oh, it's coming from, a, like, a professional or a, a Pokemon player with experience. Like, everyone in that league, we all play Pokemon. Like, I've been playing it my entire life. I'm sure the majority of us in that league have been playing it our entire lives. And yeah, my focus might be more towards the cards or towards Unite, but I still know what I'm doing, you know? I don't know. It kind of just rubbed me the wrong way. It's kind of, kind of a little snarky, I guess. I had a great match. You know, I would have been down for a game three if it would have happened. I wish we could have finished game two. So I always say showdown over console. I, I like console, but showdown, unless they can uh, put up a timer, a limited timer for friendly matches, then uh, showdown's the way to go, in my opinion. But I just wanted to share that thing. Like I said, I'm not, not super like, you know, oh man, this sucks. I'm going to rage quit or anything, but kind of just some comments that are made kind of rubbed me the wrong way. Kind of took a little offense to it. But hey, you know, what can you do? Uh, the season's basically falling apart now. We started off three and one, and now we're three and five. Just making some bad, bad plays. Team synergy's not working out the best. But hey, you know we got two weeks left in the season. Maybe we can win. I don't know. I think we got to win them both if we want to make the playoffs. But hey, I just wanted to share, just kind of share my feelings, just get it out there. Like I said, not name dropping anyone. You know, I enjoy being in the league for the most part. But uh, definitely had some bad interactions this week that kind of rubbed me the wrong way. It is what it is, though. And uh, we're going to look forward to our next two matches, and hopefully we get some wins. And who knows, maybe we can still turn the season around. If not, next season's doubles. Looking more forward to that. I do enjoy doubles more. But yeah, I, I just wanted to say this, because uh, it's been bothering me since the match. And... Uh, I just wanted to, I guess, just talk about it. I wish we had more time. Nothing against my opponent. I had an awesome match. You can tell during the video I had my friends over. I had a great time. I was really enjoying it. And uh, screw timer. It's about really all I can say. Screw timer. And uh, kind of rubbed the wrong way with uh, some of the remarks made after the battle. I said I, I doubt anyone even watches this far in the video, but I just wanted to share my share my thoughts on that. So yeah, I'm gonna leave it here with that, and uh, catch you guys again soon for our next battles and any Pokemon card openings we do. See ya.